Hey, it's Kylie of Kylie M Interiors, online paint color consultant and e-design expert. Today we are doing a video on cream cabinets and cream trim colors and how freaking tricky they are to choose wall colors for. I'm going to help you. You're going to learn a lot, but it's a bit of an epic journey, so you may as well get comfy. Now, before we get started with colors, I have some really important topics to talk to you about. When you're going to look for paint colors, before you do that, I would like you to go to my blog and in the search area, type in cream cabinets. This will take you to the main blog post about cream cabinets and paint colors that go with them. Partway down, you're going to see a list of the most common cream cabinet colors. It is so important to figure out what cream your cabinets or your trim are or get as close as humanly possible. You need this so you can figure out the LRV of your cabinets, which I'm going to talk about shortly. And so you can have this paint chip to carry around with you. And when you're looking for paint colors, furnishings, anything, you use this as your guide. Now, LRV, LRV tells you how light or dark a paint color is based on a number. And every paint color has a number. If you don't know what LRV is, I have a blog post on it again. When you're done this, check it out. It will blow your mind. I swear you will never pick paint colors the same again, and it will help you immensely with choosing colors with your cream cabinets. Cool beans? So check that out when you're all done this. The idea is that cream paint colors or any warm paint color does not want to be partnered with a color that's lighter and cooler than it, or even the same depth is questionable. The key is if you want to go lighter and cooler than your cream cabinets, which is really the case, if you're not painting your walls cream, chances are you're looking at a color that is cooler than the cream. It's LRV needs to be 15 points or darker. Sometimes the odd 10 pointer can squeeze in depending on what your cream is, but it's slim pickings. So when you're looking at paint colors, you know right away, don't look at a color if it's LRV is, if it's only zero to 10 points away from your cream cabinets, it, it just isn't going to work and you can you let it go, you can move on and look at the options that do work. One more important, important point before we get started, this whole process is about seeing what does and doesn't work. So 50% of these colors don't work. It's gonna be so helpful for you to see why. And the other ones do work, but a lot of them are what I call happy mediums. When you have cream cabinets and cream trim, a lot of time I find my clients are looking for it to act more like white when it's not. They want the cream, the yellow to kind of go away a bit, which it won't. When you have cream cabinets or trim, all you're trying to do is say, do I want to make the cream look any more obvious or do I want it to stay as creamy as it looks right now? It's really hard to downplay cream. The best way to do it is to do it with warmer, richer colors, but that's probably what you're trying to get away from or a lot of you are trying to get away from those warm, rich colors. So it's about accepting that you do have cream trim and cabinets that has a yellow base. If you can't find a wall color you love and you don't like the happy mediums, save your money and then get your cabinets or trim painted so you can move forward um, with colors you really love and that you really respond to and that suit the other finishes in your room because these will always limit you. They will never act like white. They will always have yellow in them. Okay, so I've talked enough. Let's get started. Sherwin-Williams Alabaster. A lot of you would like to have white walls and white trim. I totally get it. But when you have cream cabinets and cream trim, you're reversing the natural order of things. It is okay for alabaster to be on cabinets and trim. In fact, it's quite natural. It looks backwards when you have this on your cabinets and this on your walls. Now you'll have murky yellow cabinets and brighter walls, but you are going to hate your cabinets, I promise. Beautiful, great, would be an awesome trim color with creamy, but creamy does not want a white as its wall color. So if you have cream trimming cabinets, there is no white. You can totally stop looking. It's not going to work. The only way to get light walls when you have cream cabinets or trim is to paint your walls the same colors your cabinets and trim. And don't underestimate how pretty this can actually look. Right now I have a client going through the process of trying antique white 25% lighter. We're seeing the pros and cons of it. She's gonna go ahead with it. So while we see little shifts here and there, overall she says, okay, this is a great happy medium to get me where I want to go. Because sometimes when you got these, a happy medium 
is as good as it's going to get and you might be surprised at how good it looks in the end. I know I talk so much but I feel so strongly about this and I have so many options to share. Okay, agreeable grey doesn't work with antique white. I know a lot of you are exploring this colour. It just looks too flat and this looks too murky. Better with creamy but again it's too flat and it's too light. It needs more depth if it's going to work. Edgecomb grey, one of my favourite colours. Uh, again, too flat, too drab, looks a bit chalky in comparison, makes this look yellow and murky. Marginally better, but trust me, we don't want marginally better because it's not good. Sherwin-Williams, a new grey. And again, if I'm talking fast, I apologize. I know how many colours we're going through and I get excited about this. So yeah, anyways. So Sherwin-Williams, a new grey. This is actually the light medium version of Agreeable Grey, so it has that bit more depth. That means it's a little bit friendlier. It's still borderline with a lot of cream cabinet colours, but it is what it is. I bring it up because I have seen it be okay with a few, especially more muted ones. You can see how it's that bit better with creamy. Let's look at a few taupes. Alpaca and Popular Grey. So we're looking at warm grey taupe colours with some violet undertones. So Sherwin Williams Alpaca is on the top, Popular Grey is on the bottom. Popular Grey is warmer so it's a little bit more of a violet pink. You can see how it's just like, whoa, oof. Purple, yellow, we no longer are dealing with two neutrals, we're dealing with colours which I promise you don't want. Better with creamy but again, no scream and glory. Popular Grey is a bit warmer so it's a bit better but it's still super gross. We don't want to do a colour like this. This would include, you know, Benjamin Moore Collingwood, Pale Oak, Balboa Mist. But if we add a little bit more depth, so Versatile Grey by Sherwin-Williams, Requisite Grey by Sherwin-Williams. These are the darker versions of Popular Grey and Alpaca. By the way, I have blog post reviews on all of these colours on my blog and I have video reviews for most of them or if I don't have them yet they're coming. So versatile grey, requisite grey, you can see versatile grey is that little bit warmer, requisite grey is more of a warm grey with violet, more of a taupe, that little bit of extra depth is helping things work. I wouldn't say we're there yet but I bring these two up because when you have cream cabinets you will have a countertop and a backsplash, other things to consider. So while these two might not be the best choices for these, I found that Versatile Grey in particular tends to suit a lot of the granites that are found with these cabinet colours. So they can be happy mediums, especially Versatile Grey. This one's still a little bit cool, a little bit violet, makes me a little twitchy. Dun, 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 dun. What do we got here? Mostly warm stuff, then we move a bit cooler and then a bit more colourful. Benjamin Moore Pashmina, I do like this one with cream. So Pashmina is a greyish, it's got more meat on its bone, it's got that lower LRV. I would say it's, it's bordering on the medium range but it's so pretty. It is a greyish that is warmer than it is grey and it has a little wink of green in there. So pretty with creamy, totally love that, love that combo. That's Benjamin Moore Pashmina. Tony Taupe by Sherwin-Williams. Good old Tony, he's doing all right there, he's working with antique white. Again a popular one with a lot of the countertops that go with these. Yeah, totally fine with creamy, digging it. So you can see we went from the grages and the taupes. As we get warmer things are sitting a little bit better. I know a lot of you are trying to get away from the warm end of things, I totally get it. And again that's sometimes where we get to that happy medium. Canvas tan, yeah just super gross, doesn't work. This just looks yellow, this looks pasty, almost like skin tone or something. Better with creamy, although I wouldn't mind a little more warmth in there. Sherwin-Williams Accessible Beige, super popular colour, super gross with antique white. Hard no? No. Accessible Beige borderline but no. I've seen a lot of these colours on the large scale so I get this image in my head and I'm like twitching in the corner so just trust me. Gentle Cream, 
if you want to paint your walls a light color and you're not liking the colors that are, you know, 15 LRV points or lower, the only thing you can do is paint your walls cream. The exact same cream that you currently have. And don't underestimate how gorgeous this can look. Not this, not gentle cream, but if you have antique white cabinets, paint your walls antique white and you'll be like, oh, okay, maybe it's not what I had in my head. It's not gray, grayish, that kind of thing, but it kind of looks pretty. I really like it. It's a happy medium. And it's not a happy medium for your home. Your home might be totally happy, but maybe it's a happy medium for where you thought you'd be, you know? So gentle green, so terrible because they're fighting for the same color slot. A, a room can only handle one color in a certain range when it comes to paint colors. So if you have two colors that are similar depth, their undertones are going to fight. So why not just paint your walls the same color rather than have this happen? A little bit darker, softer tan, definitely better. Not in love yet, but better. It's all right with creamy, that is doable. Softer tan again suits some of the laminate and um, quartz and granite countertops. Shiitake looks way too pinky taupe, just in comparison. Better with creamy, but creamy is that little bit more muted. So the lighter your cream cabinets and trim are, and the more muted, like the less yellow they have in them, the better it's going to be. Remember, these will never act like white. They will always have yellow. It's just how much yellow do you want to see? Balanced beige. This one comes up a lot. I've seen it work as a great happy medium, and I've seen it look like a hot mess. Depends on the cream you have, depends if they're glazed depends on the surrounding finishes. So definitely worth sampling, but you gotta be careful because it can look a bit taupey, a little bit flat in comparison to how rich some of those creams are. Bleaker beige, definitely better than balanced beige. Still that yellow's popping up more. Works great with creamy, I have no problem with that. That's Benjamin Moore bleaker beige. Again, I'm not going into these in depth. I have reviews on these. You can check them out. Sand, ooh, I wanna do these two together. Sand Beach, Sand Bar. Similar colors, you know, they're both warm neutrals in the beigey tan range. Doing a similar thing. You can see Sand Beach by Sherwin-Williams on the top is that little bit warmer. You know, if you looked at it here, it just looks like a warm neutral. But when you compare it to Antique White, I find it looks a little bit pinkish in comparison. I don't totally love it. I like it more with creamy, but again, Antique White's pretty strong. Sandbar has a little bit, looks almost slightly more gray and maybe like a wink of green just in comparison to this. It's okay. I think it could work with a lot of cream cabinets. Like that's looking pretty. So that Sandbar. Worth, those are both worth trying out depending on which cream you have. We are almost at the cooler end of things. We're almost there, Stone Lion. So again, we're lowering the LRV quite a bit. The lower the LRV, it is working a bit better. I wouldn't say I'm in love with Stone Lion, but it works. I bet you this works with a lot of countertops and backsplashes you all have. Creamy, yeah, I like that, no problems. I know a lot of you are like, that's so dark, I mean, I'm. I'm trying to lighten up. Who knows? Maybe your means a little bit more depth. Maybe you're looking for a feature wall or something. Now this color, you're going to be like, oh, woof. Uh, that's what I have, Kylie, and I'm trying to get away from. The problem is sometimes what you have is working because it's what suits the finishes that were picked for that time. So it coordinates. It, it works with your cabinets. It works with your countertops. It's just you that don't like it. So Sometimes there's a bit of a reckoning there. Not to say we can't shift, but a color like macadamia, it works because this is the type of color that antique white really likes. I know you're trying to get away from it, but there might be some of you who are like, no, I, I'm totally digging my antique white cabinets and I want something rich and warm on my walls. Macadamia is a great fit. Grant beige. Grant beige. It's one of my favorites because it's warm. So it's nodding towards the warm needs of these colors. These colors, for them to sit that a little bit more muted, they do better with warm colors. A lot of us don't want warm colors. For me, Grant Beige is that happy medium between the rich warm end of things that a lot of people are trying to get away from and the gray grayish end of things, which a lot of creams struggle with a bit because the, the yellow gets enhanced. So Grant Beige, you know, if we compare it to Bennington Gray, which I do quite love, it looks beautiful with 
beautiful with antique white, totally. Might not be what you're looking for, but doesn't mean it ain't pretty. So stinking pretty. Now compare the two, if you were like, oh Kylie, it's so rich, so warm. Do you see how ground beige still nods towards the need of, needs of cream, but it mutes it? You know, if we grab our macadamia, another great comparison, it practically looks grayish just in comparison. So ground beige is sometimes a really good happy medium when you're like, okay, I don't want a cool color because it really is making my cream cabinets and trim look more yellow than I wanted. I don't want a rich beige. Look at colors like Grant Beige, uh, Sand Beach, those kind of things. We're gonna look at two slightly darker ones and we're hitting the cooler end of things. And my favorite color of all time is coming up and I can't wait. Fawn Brindle. So I wouldn't say these are common colors for walls, but if you're looking for a feature wall, maybe you wanna paint your island a cool color, these two colors come up quite often because they suit the finishes that are often with antique white and creamy. You're, you're often dealing with, you know, travertine or certain quartzes and granites that are on the warmer end of things. These can be really pretty accents. They really pull into them. So it's not that they're necessarily for wall colors, but Sherwin-Williams Mothwing, Sherwin-Williams Fawn Brindle. You can see how that's a nice warm gray gray with a gorgeous green. Now we're going to hit the cooler end of things. Here is the deal with cool colors. We've talked about how if you want a cool color with a warm color, that can be beige, cream, anything. It needs to be darker than the color you're partnering it with. You can't do lighter and cooler with colors like these. I mean, there's the odd rare one, but trust me, it's not really a thing. So darker and cooler. Now gray colors will have blue, green, or violet undertones. Green will win every time. Violet is hit and miss. It comes up more often because it suits the other finishes around the cream cabinets. Blue, rarely. Green, you have a really good chance with green. So maybe you weren't thinking green, maybe you don't like green. This could be another great happy medium between you wanting a cool color, but seeing how blue maybe isn't sitting so hot, and neither is violet, you go, okay, I didn't love green, but I see how pretty it can be. Okay, let's do this. I know this is what a lot of you have been waiting for. I remember, we're gonna look at a lot of fugly ones as well as some pretty ones. So Big Chill, love Big Chill. They are two comparable. Big Chill's LRV, you know, I do, I'm gonna say it's maybe 64, let's say 64 or 66, something like that, even lower. It's too close to antique white. We need 15, we probably need another five points off of this for it to even have a chance. They're competing for the same color slot. They're going to fight each other and enhance each other's undertones. Marginally better with creamy, do you wanna know why? because Creamy has a higher LRV. Now we're looking at 15 LRV points about between this and this. I still think it's too cool. They're gonna bounce off each other and you're going to have yellow trim. But if you're okay with that, hey, fill your boots. Gray Owl, similar to Big Chill, similar issue. Again, we're probably around 65 LRV. Better with Creamy again. You couldn't pay me enough to do that, but it's your home, you've got to be happy. Repose Gray, we have a little bit lower LRV. We're just below 60 on this, but it's a little bit cool. I don't know, it's not filling any spot for me and this just looks yellow and murky. Better with Creamy, but I know we can do better, so we're not gonna do Repose Gray. If I'm gonna to go to that type of color, I'm gonna go one slot down on the fan deck into Mindful Gray. It's still very iffy with antique white, but it can be passable with some muted creams. Mindful gray, it, it's a warm gray and it can have a tiny wink of a green undertone, which might be what saves it. But if you have a room with Northern light, I, I don't see it happening. It's a stretch, it's a stretch, but sometimes a happy medium. Two popular warm grays, Colonnade gray. Again, we've got a little bit lower LRV, so it's sitting better. It, I've seen colonnade gray in a room with, um, I believe it was Benjamin Moore Navajo white trim. It actually looked really pretty, but you could see how creamy the trim was. Like you could see it was creamy yellow trim because you can't make it something it's not. So it's a matter of whether you are okay with that color combination or not. Does that make sense? Remember, we can't make something act like white when it's not white. 
better with creamy for sure. A lot of these colors will be because the lighter your cream is, the more muted it is, the more flexible it's going to be. Revere Pewter, another warm green, or sorry, warm gray, green undertone. I've seen it be okay with some creams actually, like, like doable. I would say if you have Southern Light, maybe it's a bit muted, good chance, but cool Northern Light, mm. Aloof Gray, so it's a little bit of a different gray for you. A little bit more green in it. Again, green will win every time. So I see how they bounce off each other for sure. This is still a bit murky for this, but I'm kind of going, okay, okay. No, but okay. <laughs> Way better, right? Yes, you're going to have yellowish cabinets and trim, but if you're okay with that combo. If you want to do something like this, any one of these cooler colors and you're like, okay, I see how I'm stretching my cabinet and my trim's comfort zone, but I'm okay with that. The key is to bring these two together somewhere else. So you need some toss cushions that have cream and aloof gray in it. You need an area rug. you need some, you know, um, canisters on your counter, you need chair covers, something that has these colors together. Where you hit a problem is where people let this be the only cream in the room and because they're so tired of it, they add warm whites or bright whites everywhere else. Well, when you compare these two, look at how yellow it looks. I would be keeping white out of the equation in a room with these colors. I'd be like, no, this is as light as it gets. Maybe I'd, maybe you could lighten this by, you know, 25, 50%. So it's still a version of it. I would not go white or you're just gonna pop it. It's not gonna work. Silver plate, you know, of the cool grays, it's one of the better ones. You can see how, you know, here, silver plate looks just like a nice stormy gray, but we put it there and all of a sudden the blue pops up and at antique white looks more yellow in comparison. Better there, again, they are really activating each other. I think we can do better, even though I, I see how that could be a bit appealing. Stonington Gray, similar idea. Look at the blue pop up. It can be, if you have a really muted cream, like not super yellow, it's definitely better. Like even a little bit more dirty than creamy. Yeah, worth looking at, but again, stretch. Tinsmith, too blue. That's Sherwin-Williams Tinsmith. Argo, so this is a stormy gray with a stronger blue-green undertone. You know what? Yes, again, you have to bring them in the room together in something, but I, I like it better with creamy or a muted cream as opposed to thick, rich ones. But sometimes you've got to look at a color and I don't know which cream you have. I don't know the surrounding finishes. So some of these you might go, okay, close enough that I'm going to try, but I'm going to remember what Kylie said about them bouncing off each other and needing that 15 LRV points or lower for things to really jibe. Rainwashed, way too clean. So there are clean colors and dirty colors. This is still dirty. It's got some gray in it. So a dirty color is going to have gray, beige, brown in it. This still has gray in it, but it is cleaner than antique white. Antique white is more neutral, so it's dirtier. Because creamy is a little bit cleaner, it sits a bit better with rainwash, but they are, they're really talking to each other. We've got a lot of yellow and a lot of blue there. Pretty, but I'm going to say not what most people are going for. Sea salt. Just terrible. The LRV is a little bit too high and it's, yeah, no. See me twitching in the corner. So creamy, definitely better. But the thing is, I look at this and go, oh my God, those are so pretty together. I love it. I like them in adjoining rooms. Could you do them together? Yes, but you are going to have yellow trim and bluey or greeny blue walls. Sea salt's a bit of a ninja. But I would put them in adjoining rooms and they would have mad love for each other. Silver Strand, oh, we're getting to the good one soon. I can't wait. Okay, Silver Strand, yeah, questionable. Don't love it. A lot better with creamy, but again, anything cool is going to enhance the yellow. So you have to accept that and then bring it in in the room elsewhere. Comfort Gray, so when you go to my blog, when you're done this video, you go to the blog post about cream cabinets and trim colors, you will actually see a picture of Comfort Gray with antique white in a house and you will say, oh, there's part of it that you, you respond to, but oh, that looks really pretty. That's because they balance each other. There's a nice, warm, cool balance there. But 
in balancing each other in the warm cool world they also bounce off each other so antique white looks more yellow comfort gray looks more green blue and you will see that in the photo much better with creamy but again you'll still get that play the only way to not get that direct play is to go with a warm paint color now we get into the sweet spot this is my favorite and you might be surprised by it because even i was surprised by it but you're gonna guess which one it is two colors Benjamin Moore Gray Mirage, Benjamin Moore Horizon Gray. So Gray Mirage is a green, warm green, that little bit of gray grayish in it, so it calms it down. Most people will see the green, like they won't say, oh, you have gray walls, but the green isn't remotely overpowering. Horizon Gray, a little bit more in the middle. Some people will say, oh yeah, you have like a greeny, greeny blue walls maybe. Other people will say, oh, you have gray walls with a bit of green in them. Um, so when you look at those two, which one do you think sits the best? There's Grey Mirage by Benjamin Moore. There's Horizon Grey. While both have something to say, and while I do like Horizon Grey with creamy to a degree because it's that bit cooler, they're bouncing off each other. When I put Grey Mirage with these colors, I'm so happy. You might have thought, you know what? I, I don't like green undertones and I don't want green undertones could be a great happy medium between painting your walls a beige if that's really what your interior finishes want and between where you want it to be again sometimes happy mediums are as good as you can get until you're ready to paint would i do my home in a happy medium depends on how bad things were uh, i'm gonna say probably not unless i'm painting it myself so all i'm buying is a gallon of paint so i'm not spending money and it's a simple project but generally speaking i'd rather save my money and paint my cabinets or trim a color that's easier to work with but I know that is out of the question for a lot of you I totally get it and so sometimes we have happy mediums and that is totally okay for me gray mirage is the best happy medium along with grant beige so there you have it so much to learn so please go to my blog look at those cream paint colors bring home the paint paint sample set paint chip samples or go to Order from Sample Eyes. If you're in the US, they will show up at the next day at your front door. See which one closely matches your cabinets. Find out the LRV of that paint color. Read my blog post about LRV. You will learn so much and go from there. If you want something cooler, which really is the case with almost any color you're looking at, find those colors that are about 15 LRV points or darker. Cool beans? Okay, thanks for watching.